This is a Fox News alert moments ago. The convicted terrorist known as the American Taliban released from federal prison several years before even com before completing the 20 year sentence that he got for joining the Taliban after 9 11. John Walker Lynn was there when the Taliban launched an attack killing CIA operative Johnny Mike Spann, a Marine turned CIA officer, and the first American killed in combat in Afghanistan after the September the 11th attacks. So we want to get the perspective of Ray Kelly, longtime police commissioner here with the uh, in New York City, NYPD, uh, played a critical role in the rebuilding of New York after 9 11 and keeping us safe, forming a uh, elite counterterrorism unit. Commissioner, your gut feeling as a citizen of New York, a citizen of this country, about him getting out three years early? I think it's disgraceful. He's an American. He should have been tried as a traitor. At the very least, he should have served out his full sentence, which, by the way, is a short sentence for, for terrorism. 20. Should have been life imprisonment uh, for him. He has still not disavowed jihad. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, when he was captured, he didn't cooperate at all with the CIA, Mike Spahn, who ultimately died in a riot. We don't know what John Walker Lynn's role was in, in that, but he definitely should not be walking the streets now. How do you be monitored? He, by the way, he met bin Laden. He admits mm -hmm. to having a, a carrying a rifle and two hand grenades. <laughs> He's a warrior. How do you explain the people in charge saying, you know what, he served enough time, good behavior, let him out two and a half years early? I, I, again, I, I can't uh, understand it. Why let him out early? Let, let him walk the, the streets? As I say, he hasn't disavowed anything. So you know what's it definitely is a risk. Prison reform is so important nowadays because we did the story with Alice Marie Johnson, the one that Kim Kardashian um, talked to the president about and the president granted her clemency. She was nonviolent, first time drug offender, and she got life behind bars. This guy takes a CIA officer's life, joins the Taliban, is a traitor, doesn't want to, you know, death to America, joins this group that's death to America, and he gets 20 years and gets out for good behavior earlier. Yeah, it makes no sense. It's just. It defies logic. Commissioner, the, it's not new. Since 9-11, how worried were you as uh, commissioner of NYPD with counterterror about Americans getting radicalized? No longer you need to go to Afghanistan to get radicalized on a laptop. Uh, absolutely. And still very much uh, a possibility. <clears throat> we saw these posters that came out. It's a reminder that the terrorism threat is very much still there, something we have to be concerned about. We have to look over the horizon and make sure we're not fighting Yesterday's war, we have to look at drones, at uh, cyber uh, attacks, at uh, artificial intelligence. All of these things are potential causes for a terrorist. Attack. So much has changed. Got to stay vigilant. So much has changed since 9/11. Absolutely. Uh, you were here in New York City on, on September the 11th, 2001. This particular ship, the USS New York, uh, in throughout the construction of it, they used 7,000 pounds of steel from the Twin Towers. So yep. this ship is symbolic to absolutely. what happened then. Uh, uh, absolutely. This is a tremendous ship. I, I had a tour of it uh, before. Over 50 years ago, I was on a ship roughly similar, off, uh, landing in Vietnam, the LSD, they, they call it then. But this ship is a quantum leap ahead. I saw it stop. Uh, the other day at the World Trade Center yeah. site. I live right down there. It was very, very moving. It's got to be a little surreal, you know, to know that we had to lose that in order to, to help build this ship. Yeah. It's, it's, um, it's just very surreal to me to think about what happened here in our city, the city that we love so much. The motto of this ship is strength forged through sacrifice and never, never forget. forget. Yeah, yeah. It, it also shows the resiliency of America. It's true. You know? how tough of people we are, how we can rebound, how we can come back. You look at that area down there, it's beautiful. Yeah. They did a yeah. beautiful job. The memorial is, is beautiful. We're, we're tough people. Yeah. And Commissioner, uh, just, your, just your opinion, as you walk the city, uh, the homeless are back, the streets aren't paved, we seem to be going backwards. You live here. What is your response, knowing how far we've come with Rudy Giuliani and, and to a degree, Mayor Bloomberg? Well, it certainly has uh, has slipped, and uh, I'm, I'm kind of happy that Mayor de Blasio was out of the city uh, running for president. He's terrible, right? We want him out of here. Well, maybe he'll win. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Okay.
Well, now, the city has uh, slipped back in, in, in a lot of areas, and people are concerned about it. You hear people talking about it, uh, you know, all the time. All right. Commissioner, thank you very much for dropping. All the best. Thank Good you. to see you. Great to see you, Mr. Commissioner.